All right, guys, it's Fleckus. We're out here protesting right above the 101, and I'm here with John. And John, how long have you been here today? Been here pretty much since this morning, around 12. Who am I standing here with? Oh, uh, Revolution. <laughs> the Revolution, doesn't want to say his name, totally cool. And what exactly are you protesting? Uh, basically, it's just simple. Fuck him, his pipeline, and his feminist um, regime, along with Mike Pence. Very cool, very cool. And uh, who did you vote for, if you don't mind me asking? Actually, I voted for Bernie Sanders, believe it or not. Very cool. Uh, would you consider yourself to be a socialist? Um, kind of, but at the same time, anarchist, if it goes, or if it gets to that point. Because words are just words until action actually starts. And actions speak louder than words, but at the same time, words speak louder than actions because sometimes it's the right thing to do. Very cool. And what are some of the actions that can take place in order to protest Trump properly and really get her message across? Just keep taking to the streets no matter what, because we got to get him out of office. And for those people who already know that he's already tweeting that he hates his job because we're doing all this against him. Fuck Trump. Uh, Why fuck Trump, though? Uh, because, um, what is it? Everybody has the right to be in this country. I mean, it's the land of freedom and liberty. Yeah, if you're in the U.S. already, you have the right to be here, but you don't have the right to immigrate here. How do you think America got here? How do you think all these, um, not to get racist or anything, but look at, this, look at Spain and what they did. So would you say we're all immigrants? Yeah. Were you born in America? Yes, I was. So you're not an immigrant. What are your thoughts on the um, immigration policy going on right now and the things that Trump's putting into action? I guess it's bullshit, Holmes, you know? So, I mean, like, when it comes to recent immigration, I mean, like, 87% of Americans are born in America. Yeah. Uh, we go back in history. History, when Spain took over, how they've done all their stuff, then came along with Columbus that founded America. But thing that, the thing is, America was already founded before Columbus. It, was, it just wasn't called the United States of America. You fucking, I'm blaming the fucking world. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. This is my fucking voice to say fuck you and be basically saying what the fuck I want, so fuck y'all. Hey guys, it's Fleckus. Uh, still at the protest. Uh, who am I here with? Samantha. How do you feel about Donald Trump? I think he's a super racist, dangerous, uh, terrible, terrible human. And fuck Trump. It's fucking, this is what the fuck I do. I fucking carry my shit. Fuck you, homie. Fuck you, you fucking coward. You're a, you're a coward, a racist, a bigotrist, a whatever, sis. All that, sis, that everything that consists of that, what you are. And you are that, and you're never gonna, you're never gonna be righteous. And at the end of the day, homie, you got to, you got to meet your maker. I campaigned for Bernie Sanders. Very cool. Uh, would you say you're a socialist? Uh, probably. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. What do you think about the immigration stuff going on right now? I think there shouldn't be any borders and they need to reunite families because that's some disgusting, inhumane sort of. Definitely. Does that kind of contradict as a socialist though because bringing in unskilled laborers would be kind of detrimental? Uh, no, I think uh, sort of uh, every, every community Wah, wah, wah. Uh, <laughs> every community would benefit from uh, diversity. There's, there's never any wrong way. Socialism-wise, though, if you bring in unskilled laborers, it kind of affects. Uh, for socialism, supply and demand becomes the workforce. So if you bring in unskilled laborers from other countries, it kind of jams up the workforce. Oh, maybe. Um, who did you vote for? I ain't vote for nobody, bro. Fuck that system. Fuck your party. Fuck your, fuck your government. Fuck what the fuck you stand for. Fuck you and fuck your fucking political views. Fuck that shit. I do not abide by that. I abide by human. I abide by righteousness. And I abide by the land of the law. I abide... Let me show you something what it says right here. It's in Mexico, the Oaxaca. This says right here. It says I'm from the land, especially. Soy Oaxaqueño, de origen. I'm from the motherland of Oaxaca from Mexico. That's what it says here in me not personally, but I'm just saying it's from this statement. I'm from Oaxaca, Ken, yo soy Oaxaqueño from the origin from E por mi temple me eligen. I don't really know what it says like that temple, I still have to figure it out, but what I say is you take your understanding and your wisdom and your knowledge and your power and that's street life and street code. Like I said, street. Street shit, street world, street money worldwide, homie. Street shit, street life, my bad. Street. You fuck you, you fucking stupid piece of shit, Trump bitch, hoe, put man, I gotta hold on. Erase that. I can't say that anymore. 
because those words are derogatory and all that. Whatever mad bad words I've used and whatever bad stuff I have said in this program, man, erase that. Uh, we'll cut the bad, we'll cut the curses and shit and all that stuff. We'll put that in there and tell them like, because it's part of growing, it's part of growth, you know what I'm saying? We'll put it in, but we'll keep a note.